Hey, what's up, guys? It's Warpath, and this is Base Defense 7, I believe. You guys have not seen Dogger's hit, so, uh, Swabby is the last one you saw. So we'll do Dogger, and I'm doing this now, even though I already put out a video today, because I, in case I get hit again, which I probably will, the way I've been playing with these, uh, Insectors here. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, chances are I'm gonna get hit again. I've leveled pretty much all of them. That I there's only 13 though, so that's not really saying much. Uh, wait, no, I haven't leveled most of them because most of them have been bubbled the whole time. But I've leveled their highest level player and most of their uh, second highest levels because there's a bunch of 61s. So <sighs> fun. Okay, well this is the prep and okay, so guys, about the ships that I or uh, my ship plan. Uh, I do have like 10, 11 days left on my. Uh, Goliaths, but uh, other than that, after that, I'm going to actually build a two fleet dreadnought fleet that should be able to take bases with something kind of like my base, except for except I'm right now I'm making this into another javelin. Then it should be able to come in here, I'll prep a couple turrets, maybe a ship if I can. But uh, you know, should it, it has eight siege s and should be able to splash most stuff out pretty fast. And it should be a decent fleet. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna make the MCX fleet, and then the Triton fleet, or maybe the Triton fleet and the MCX depends on what I need more, or what I feel like I need, and also depends on what else comes out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so here's his prep. So far, it's pretty crap. Prep, but you know, it's Dogger. No, I'm kidding. I got nothing against Dogger. The uh, insectors here—they're really nice people. I just leveled one of them. I let him. Uh, Oh, is this the... Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then that did 20... F Wait, well, how much did that do for him? 23%, and then here's his base hit. Then I'll exit, and then come back in, just to make sure I don't crash. Because efficiency, guys. I'm probably going to do another base hit today, depends, because I need my... I want my turret, or my uh, rocket, or I need it for this next hit. All right, here comes his base hit. I keep mine dead. My uh, super fortress, and I will have to be making more of them soon. I don't know when, but soon. Because I'm gonna have to. I want to have. Uh, actually, I don't know because I really don't need res, but the one I have is nice, and it goes with my MCX. By the way, he just nuked this. In case you didn't see. So yeah, and this recording here isn't the one I'm going to be releasing for. Oh, he has the uh, the anti missiles, but this isn't the one. I'm going to be making another montage, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to use this video or not. Probably not. <laughs> I cannot wait. Copyright music. Anyway, so here he goes. I think he gets pretty far in the base, actually. I have not seen the second hit, which I'm really excited to see. It's a dreadnought hit, so. Whew. Be interesting. Haven't had a good hit, and the guy who hit me was is a pretty decent player, so. Yeah, he's the only base I haven't got in yet uh, of the higher levels, the 61s. Actually, no, there's another guy. I forgot about him, but he's... I, I lost I Agamemnon, Agamemnon, something like his base. I did die in it already. It's a pretty decent base, uh, except for I wasn't able to prep it the first time when I hit him, so... I hmm. guess that kind of, you know, doesn't really count. 
because his base was already half dead or not half dead his base was slightly dead couldn't see the turrets they were like partially damaged and uh basically everything up front was dead so i came in and it was already almost at 25 percent so i had a hit and i don't know why he shot that <sighs> kind of a jerk and that was kind of weird too but whatever and then he starts shooting this as you can see it's doing okay taking him a few volleys to get past it and he's like oh well I better just go good choice dogger and then yep he'll take this out and come around and I think he gets stuck at this but as you can tell he did get really freaking far which is scary uh... yeah he pretty much destroys everything but what I need which is the OP and the launch pad if somebody gets my launch pad, it's not a loss for me. If somebody gets my OP, it's a loss. That's the only way to beat me. I won't consider it a win if you get my warehouses, my dock, my turrets, or my launch pad. And he does get he does do pretty decent on this. But then splash. Got pretty far. I just need once my last gollies in there. Should be pretty good. Anyway. Playback Agamemnon. Let's watch the prep. You've been talking in your sleep. I just learned how to play that song on guitar, so it's stuck in my head right now. His MCX prep. Actually, I would love to see no prep somebody get in my base. Because I honestly don't think it's possible. Yeah, he wants to take that out for his dread. He takes out that. And... Does he take out this? I don't know. Pretty much a perfect prep, though. And then exit. For some reason it's saying I have no playbacks, so I have to exit. Uh, do 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 do. But yeah, that was a pretty good prep. <sighs> Okay, and the last playback is the base hit with the dreads. So close to me. Oh, wow. And 
it's actually good to leave a turret like that. That way the splash splashes a little bit, but the way I have mine designed, it's less splashable. Interesting. Agamemnon. He's my next base, the next base I want to hit. And then I have another one, it's like the effing bubble, uh, the, f uh, the effing bubbler or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. We got my entrance pretty well. Anyway, see, there's that, and then. See, the splash isn't splashing too well, but it's still getting me. And here he comes. Oh, he took out my duck. That's right. But whatever. And here comes. See, that splashes out kind of fast. I think that one would be. Yeah, that's the anti. Uh, mort. And honestly, what most people don't understand is they can actually charge this because this doesn't have a siege but that's my high explosive defense which is funny because that's it, it's pretty interesting <sighs> This is going to be there, this is going to be there, this is going to stay there, and then this is going to be the high... No, the high missile is supposed to be here. Yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out when I'm done. It's this tow it, and this is why I have this there, is because these kill the... Or they can pinch that, and this one's still firing. Even some of those are still firing, so no matter what, they're still getting fired on. It's a pretty deadly combo. He already knows he's lost. Unless these have no armor. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. But he sees, oh wow, it's going down way faster. Maybe I have a chance. There's still a magic chance that it could happen. But then he goes into the firing range. And he's like, well, crap. Better just go. And this one's like, ha, 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 you fool. You cannot come forth, or I will volo you the smithereens. That's pretty much how that went. And then there's his dead fleet. So yay, everybody's happy except for him. And he kills that, which is really depressing. Pretty decent hit. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more Battle Pirates hits and stuff like that. Peace off, everybody.